Hey party people, what's going on? Today we're doing something a little different. We got my fiance, Jordan, here, and he's going to read me 10 reviews, and I'm going to try to guess what Sims 4 pack the review is for. Are you ready, Jordan? Yeah, come on, let's get to the good good. Okay, let's do this. I'm so ready. Me too. All right, so here's how it's gonna work. I got a, a whole whack of reviews for you, and I'm gonna read them to you. And like you said, you have to guess which pack they're for, but if you get it wrong, you don't get a point. Okay, that sounds fair enough. Yes. So 10 reviews, 10 points. I mean, I suspect that you'll be able to get, I I'm thinking eight of these correct. Oh, I don't know. I honestly, I am not too sure how many I will get correct. Uh, the problem here though is the review, some of the reviews aren't all that good. Okay. Uh, some of them are like, some of them are really good and perfect and Fantastic. And others are, they'll be hard. Some will be easier than others to figure out which pack is which, is all I'm going to say. It's a mixture of expansion, game, and stuff packs. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. No kits, though? No kits, because I, I don't believe in those <laughs> existing. Same. No kits, okay? Okay. All right, y'all set? Let's do this. All right. And for those of you that are watching at home, you can play along. Um, if you play along, put your score in the comments for Cheryl so she can see if she beat you. Or you beat her. If I was to do this, I would probably get one out of ten. One of them is super clear, and it's the only one that I think I'd be able to pick off right away. No, no, no. I think you would do better than just one. No, 100%. I don't. You'll see. Okay. I won't give hints, but I might try and... My reactions to what you say might help you determine what's the right thing. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's do it. Number one. So, Skyboat on Steam wrote, this pack is kind of essential to the game. I'm choosing to not recommend it because I'm mad that it wasn't part of the original base game. Seasons. And I'm, it, you gotta let me finish. I'm sorry. You also have, to, you have to let me check the answers. Uh, but yeah, that 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 is, uh, let me finish, okay? Let me finish reading. And I'm crying, okay, you got it, it's Seasons, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's Seasons. I feel like I wrote that myself. Like I actually might be. Uh, Skyboat was it? Yeah. Yeah, Skyboat is my alt account. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that one. That one is season. So you are one for one. All right. Yeah. Next one. Number two. Never in my life have I come across a game that is this buggy. I wish I could get my money back for this hot mess. I cannot believe they released a pack in this state. Do not waste your money. And if you really want this pack for the build items, rather wait for a sale. It is absolutely not worth the full price. Garbage, garbage, garbage. What pack do you think this is? <laughs> okay, um, that's actually pretty hard because I feel like there's a ton of packs that are like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to say my. Well, before you make a before before you make a guess, walk me through some things, some options you think it could be. Okay, so my initial reaction was Dino. Okay. Because I feel like like a ton of simmers have the same opinion. That is buggy. It's hot mess. Um, I don't think that people buy it for build items. I, I don't think that was really the big selling point. Personally, I, I didn't buy it for the build items. I bought it for the gameplay. And because of that, I don't think it's Dino. Okay. And I mean, it could have been uh, Journey to Bet 2. Well, that's another one that was a little buggy when it was first released. All right. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking that this is a like a review when the game pack or the stuff pack or whatever pack was launched. And so for that and the build comment, I'm gonna say it's my wedding stories. <sighs> okay, yeah, you got that one right. <laughs> um, I, I realized as I was reading it that it saying posted the 27th of February was a really dead giveaway. <laughs> As to what pack it definitely did help but like I honestly there's a very select few packs I remember the release day or release month right. so like that could have been any of them I think they put the, the the current February I believe is they put the year if it's an older February oh okay well either way uh you probably would have got it anyway because it's like recency bias yeah it's the newest pack that was complete trash <laughs> so all right, so you're you're two for two. Yay! I hope that this has challenged those of you at home, and it hasn't been super easy for you guys. If it is, the next one's gonna get you. Oh. 
Number three, makes you overall Sims experience worse for only $40. Now, this is a tough one, you, no idea. The date's not gonna help you here either. The only hint that I can offer you just because it, it might be a little unfair. Oh yeah, okay. What, how much does a game pack cost in Canada? Wait, I don't even know if it's a game pack. I don't know anything. Oh, it's definitely not a, a game pack. That would, uh, this is a Canadian review? I don't think so, that's the thing. Okay, I think that this is an American who bought an expansion pack. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Okay, so then that means that from that information you have right now, you believe this is an expansion pack? Yeah. Okay. And somebody who is not Canadian who wrote this review. That, yeah, that's good sleuthing <laughs> there. This is an expansion <laughs> pack. Okay, well, I kind of actually like a lot of the expansion packs because of certain uh, gameplay features and the build items particularly. Okay, so is there any expansion packs that makes you overall <laughs> Sims experience worse? You know, if you're looking at gameplay, there definitely is. Um, just to list a few, I would say Eco Lifestyle, Discover University, and Get Famous are a few of them. Okay. I am leaning towards Discover University and Get Famous. Okay. But, oh God, I don't know. Like Discover University, school is just too hard. They made it incredibly difficult to complete school without cheating. It's very tough. Right. But Get Famous has added a lot of annoying things into the game. Oh no, oh no. That's a tough one. Hmm. Oh God, okay, you know what? I was gonna say get famous, but now I'm gonna change my mind and say it's Discover University. Okay, all right, is that your final answer? Ah, yeah. Are you sure? Okay, cause you're totally wrong. What? The expansion pack that Tier Dolan claims makes you overall <laughs> Sims experience worse is Eco Living. Oh God. So you are now two for three. No. Yeah, unfortunately. Don't worry though, because I bet you like the people watching, they probably got this one wrong too, because this is a tough one. This this could be, there, there's literally no identifying things in this one Yeah. at all. I've never really played Eco Lifestyle. Like I, I played it for maybe less than 40 hours when it was free. Right. So I don't have a lot of experience to know that it makes the you overall Sims experience worse. Yes. Ah, God, I did mention that to begin with, though. You did. I was like, oh, I think I, I was hoping there'd be more conversation about that particular pack. But um, unfortunately, you uh, went a different direction. It was my lack of experience with it. That's OK, though. Um, anyway, so number four. Are you ready for this one? Yep. Let's do it. All right. So here's number four from Dave Barks 2. Unless you really need this pack for story, I don't recommend it. Personally, never use any gameplay or build mode features from this pack. The furniture is very old and medieval-ish style, which is great if you're into that. If you do plan to get this pack, wait for a sale. I know everyone says that about everything <laughs> and that it's hard to wait, but wait if you can for this. Now, what pack you think this is this is kind of difficult because they say the furniture is very old which i mean that could be get famous or that could be well i guess realm of magic that could be one vampires or it could be vintage glamour so Hmm. I'm going to say it's not Get Famous. Right. Although there are furniture pieces and decorations and all that fun stuff like wall paint and flooring. That is, it is themed medieval. Right. And that is because of the acting. So you have like the medieval throne chair and the lamp. That pack in particular includes a bunch of different styles and the furniture is not necessarily exclusively very old and medieval-ish. Exactly. Okay. And that's why I also don't think that people would say that they don't use the gameplay or build mode features, especially the build mode features, because I remember getting that pack and just loving it. I was still building a lot at that time period, so I was obsessed. Right. But obviously... Just because I was obsessed with it doesn't mean that everyone is obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah. 
like I adore Realm of Magic furniture stuff, but that doesn't mean that this person adores it. Hmm. All right. So, what do you think? You, you, which one do you think it is? I'm in between Realm of Magic and Vampires. Okay. They're both old. They're both medieval-ish. They both have gameplay that people might not use. Like, I barely play with the vampires. I barely play with uh, spellcasters. Hmm. Hmm. Unless you need it for a story. That's another thing. Like, that doesn't really help. Because unless you need a vampire or a spellcaster for a story. Yeah. Well, let me just say, if you get this wrong, you'll be two for four. Oh, no. I don't like that. Hmm. Yeah. So you got to kind of get this one right if you don't want to be two for four. I don't. I'm really... I'm stuck. I'm stuck between these two packs. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, uh, vampires. Is that your final answer? I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Well, you are correct. Really? Oh. Yeah, the pack. Dave Barks is referring to the vampires pack. Yes. Yeah, so you're, you're three for four. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Amazing. Okay. All right. So this is a new, this is a special on this next one. This is the first positive review. All right. Ooh. So number five and Keffy writes, you can swear at people now. Okay. 10 out of 10 IGN. I know exactly what this is. You know exactly what this is. Okay. Parenthood. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> yeah. It is parenthood. <laughs> you're you're four for five now, I think. I'm having a hard time <laughs> keeping track at this point. Yeah, you're, that's good though. That's good. This next one you're definitely going to get. It's going to be a pretty easy one, I think. Okay. Um, I had to throw in some easy ones so that everyone could, could feel good about themselves and they could get some points and... So then, yeah, I had to make it easy for everyone. For me. <laughs> All right. Versus 22 reviews that this pack adds conspiracy theory to Sims the game. 11 out of 10. I don't know what that thing at the end is. It's a little face. All right. I think it makes me seem old. But yeah, that is the, that's the review. So what do you think that pack is? I know exactly what it is. All right. It is one of my favorite packs. It is Strangerville. Oh. What? Cheryl. Okay, so I'm so Stop. I'm so sorry to tell you, but you are correct. Oh my god, you I had you there, hey? You got me. So that's yeah. that's five five for six. So this is where they're gonna get a little trickier, I think. I hope. I don't know. Oh no. We'll see. Okay. This pack is nice. I wouldn't call it a must have, but it's interesting if you're the type of Sims 4 player who really focuses on making the most out of the moodlet system without heavily relying on mods or cheats. This pack gets you the opportunity to get long lasting moodlets that can help your sim get a promotion or gameplay stuff. The cast outfits slash hairdos are trash. The build and buy items are a bit dated, but they're decent and versatile. There's obviously a new woohoo location. I recommend you watch videos that shows every item before purchasing it so you can see if this is worth 20 euros to you or 15 euros when on sale. What pack is this? Hmm, it's clearly a, a game pack. Is that game pack pricing? Yeah, that's a game pack uh, pricing there. What's the conversion rate for euros to Canadianos? By the way, that's what they call money in Canada. Canadianos. That's for all the people that aren't from Canada that watch. I think uh, game packs cost about thirty dollars for us here, like twenty-seven fifty-seven around that price point. Twenty-seven fifty-seven. That sounds like someone who just looked up a conversion. Maybe. And got exactly twenty-seven fifty-seven. <laughs> Maybe. That's okay. I got the same thing. That sounds like game pack pricey to me. It is definitely game pack pricing. Anywho, based on the mood that comment, my heart is telling me spa day. The build buy items are a bit dated, but they're decent and versatile, which could be spa day, maybe. Outfits and hairdos being trash could also be spa day, but because of that last paragraph there, I am thinking it's parenthood then, because I do think that parenthood is pretty outdated with their outfits and their hair and the build by items. I, I think that they're kind of not the best looking. So with that information, I'm gonna say that it is spa day. Okay. 
Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're correct. Yay! <laughs> you nailed it. And I now have forgotten... How many? You've gotten one wrong, right? So you're six for seven. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, you're pretty... You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. So are you ready for number eight? Yes. Okay. So... <laughs> Not gonna, not oh, gonna read. Oh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Yeah, see, I knew I, I threw one more easy one in. This is the only one that I'd be able to get, okay? Yeah. So, Toffoli, they wrote, even my grandma doesn't like the idea of a DLC for a DLC. Yo, your grandma has the right idea. Nobody likes my first pet stuff. Okay. Mm, you, what, you said, what, you said my first pet stuff? Oh, I thought this would be, I thought this was going to be easier than that. Unfortunately, Cheryl, you've gotten it correct. Why do you keep doing this to me? You're giving me mini heart attacks. Oh my goodness. All right. So you're, you're seven for eight or something like that. You're doing really good. I'll go through and try and count after and, and we'll get a clear number, but I'm pretty sure you're seven for eight. I'm actually surprised that I'm doing this good. I am not great at answering questions under pressure normally, even if I know the topic very well. Well, apparently that doesn't, you know the topic too well. It, <laughs> it offsets that. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So number nine, Dragon Mom wrote, originally bought this to have a pastime for a boomer sim. Now they're a heavy metal granny with an attitude. 666 out of 10 for the metal radio station alone. What pack is this? I have an idea, but I think if I am correct, I think I just learned something about this pack. Ah. I believe that it's nifty knitting. Is it? Is that your answer? I thought you were going to say more words after that. Nope. That's it. That's my... That's... <laughs> that's your That's your <laughs> final answer? Yeah. Are, are you... Is that's your final answer? Yeah. Well, you're right. Okay, you got it. Yay. I didn't know that there was a metal radio station. Well, apparently I forgot because I put this... I chose this review and totally forgot that was a thing. Wow. Had no idea. For the grand finale, number 10, Ooh. Snow, who has just disappeared from Canada, <laughs> wrote, Honestly, should be base game, plus the Sims just bug out too much and don't do their chores. Do not recommend. What is this pack? The pack is laundry day okay are you just you're not even gonna like workshops you're just gonna keep saying them <laughs> like that oh uh, no okay i'll i'll workshop it oh you don't have to you don't have to workshop them i'm just trying to, to, to judge your level of confidence with your answer you're that confident that you know it's laundry day yeah i'm pretty confident but let me let me just tell you my my opinion on why it's laundry day so chores laundry that's that's a chore true yeah you know that is a chore <laughs> that is definitely a chore. Um, and I think it should have been base game. I think there's a ton of packs that should have been base game. I mean, 80% of all the expansions should have been base game. Like this, yep. how, la how long, how late did laundry pack come out? How did the Sims do their laundry before laundry pack came out? They just didn't do it. Laundry day came out 2019, maybe 2020. Mm. So yeah, I think it's laundry day. Okay. I'm locking it in. Yeah, that's your final answer. Do, 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 do. Well, you got it. You got it right. You got Yay! that one right. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I'm just going to quickly review all of the ones that you only got one wrong. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you were nine for 10. Yep. Of these Sims review, review things. Hey, I can't be mad at that. And the one I got wrong is a, like a pack I have not played. I've only played less than 40 hours of that one. So I am... I pretty happy with this sure i'm surprised you got all these right i actually thought that these reviews were too vague and didn't give much <laughs> information um and i was really disappointed when i was looking for them because i didn't think they really would they didn't offer a lot of information to make like to make this like kind of a, a challenge i think the next time if we do this again let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see us do this again because it was a lot of fun. But if we do do it again, I think it should be me picking out the reviews and you guessing. That seems unfair. I wouldn't be the, I don't even know. I can't even remember what <laughs> packs exist. That's what makes it fun. 
I mean, bottom line, the people watching, all of your audience, they should, in the comments, play along and give your score. Because I'm curious if this whole thing was easy. If I'm just bad at picking reviews, and maybe everyone will get these off the right off the hop. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think that you'd get them all. Maybe you're just a super a super simmer. But that's what I, I'd like. I'd like to see some scores and really get a sense of how easy or hard this was. Because I mean, I could make it harder. I could go. I could make them like two words. This like it could just be this pack sucked. Three words. Hey, okay. And you get to figure out which one it is. I, ha I don't know how you'll do that, but maybe that's the, maybe that's how I gotta challenge it. You know, I can make it more difficult. I'd be fine trying that out in the future. A little harder one. A little, a little harder. Anywho, thank you, Jordan, for doing this with me. Yeah, no problem. It was fun. Yeah, I had a ton of fun too. And thank you to everyone who watched. Please comment down below what your score is. We would both love to know. If you want to see another video like this, let me know and we'll do this again. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta think of some harder challenges to do here. Sounds good. Stay happy, healthy, and hydrate, everyone. Peace out, party people. Bye. Bye. Right? Am I am I doing it right? <laughs>